Okay, today I'm going to show you how to get your foot in the door with a church um, by setting up a simple SMS system whereby people can get sermons or homilies sent directly to their cell phone. Now this is the church that I go to here and as you can see they have a listen to Father Lenz homilies. It's a big Catholic church here in town and uh, a lot of churches now have recordings of homilies or sermons, you know, depending on what um, denomination you are, whatever you call it. So you'll have to uh, use the SMS system, you know, with whatever you're marketing to, but uh, basically you'll go to a page uh, and you're going to find churches that have uh, recordings of weekly uh, services, work, weekly sermons or homilies. So here we have it, we can go to this on our desktop and we can listen to it, but a lot of people don't have time to sit at their desktop computer and listen to homilies. So they might be driving in their car or cutting their grass or doing anything and they might want to just listen while they're driving. Well, they can do that very quickly if you set up an SMS system whereby they can have the latest homily or sermon sent to their cell phone. So what I'm going to do is, here's the download link. I'm going to copy this link location here. And that would allow me to download it to my computer, but I want to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to our, our uh, trusty Twimmel bin here and construct a system whereby somebody can send in the word homily or sermon uh, to a phone number and it will send back the URL. Okay, so what we want to do is create a new Twimble bin as we've been doing. Now, this is going to be a system where there's no database involved. Uh, down the road, uh, I'll do one with OpenVBX and we'll have, uh, you know, put them in a database and we can, we can do that. This is just a simple way to say, hey, how would you like to have your congregation be able to just text a word and get your sermon sent right to their phone? So, as you know, we're going to just start with response. This is a really simple little app. And we're just going to basically send an SMS to anybody that sends an SMS to the uh, to the number that we're going to paste this, this URL up here. Okay, now keep in mind, you might have heard of keywords and, and, you know, what keywords to use and this and that. What you have to understand is that when we have this URL inside our... Um, SMS URL inside our Twilio account with this little setup it doesn't matter what you send to that number so they're gonna send any word it doesn't matter what the keyword is they could send an entire sentence and it will still respond with this SMS so uh, I hope that makes sense but we're just gonna tell the congregation to send the word sermon to a particular number okay so when they do that, they're going to send a keyword to the number and it's going to shoot back this SMS. So I'm just going to say, listen to Father Lenz homily from April, I think it was 29th, 2012, at this link. Uh, let's just do that. Okay, so they're going to click on that when they get the, the SMS. Now one thing that you'll want to do is shorten this URL because look at how long that URL is. We don't want to send that as an SMS. So I'm going to take that back and I'm going to head over to Bitly. Would you probably probably know what that is? bit.ly and we're going to shorten that URL. This is what Twitter uses to shorten URLs. And there it is right there. See how much shorter we can do that. So let's copy that head back over to Twimblebin and paste it right there. So it's a lot shorter. You want to keep these SMS's to 160 characters obviously. You probably already know that. Okay, so let's close that out and let's close out the response. Now nothing more is going to happen in this. Somebody sends any keyword but they're not going to know that. You're going to tell them what to send because it's easy to send the word sermon. Whoops, I forgot to close that out. Notice unless you get the green you're not good to go. So okay so there's our app right there now you would have to come to this URL every week if you got this as a these people as a client you'd have to come to this URL and just change that date right there and change the link as well It'd take you about a minute or so so you'd have to figure out what to charge but let's get into that in just a minute let's finish this out I'm gonna cop, uh, copy this and I'm gonna go to my Twilio account and go to numbers and here's the difference between the last um, ones we've done. You're going to have to go down to 
not voice request URL, but SMS request URL. And there it is right there. So paste it right in there and you're good to go. Make sure you save your changes. Okay, so now what does somebody do? They, they send the word homily, or you could do it right for them. Send the word sermon or homily, depending on your congregation. When you send that to whatever number you assign it to, it's going to send back this message with the link. Now, most phones can play MP3s right away. I tried this on my one-year-old Android phone. It worked fine. This went right to the uh, uh, to the MP3 link, just forward it right right there and it started playing. So it works great. Okay, uh, what do you charge for this? You know, it kind of depends. When you're dealing with one person getting this, it's going to cost you two cents for that for that one cent in, one cent for that keyword to be sent, and one cent for the keyword, or I mean for the uh, the SMS to be sent back. So you're talking about two cents per they're not really subscribers because they can do this every week if they want. Um, they could just save this number on their phone and text in whenever they want to listen to the sermon they can just send it in. So remember we're not dealing with a database here. This is really simple and uh, it's a way to get the foot in the door because if you walk in and say hey listen I can uh, I can have uh, Father whatever um, sermon sent right to my phone. You want to see how it works and just show it to them or have them do it on their own phone. Uh, so keep in mind you have to figure out your own I mean, I, th I think you could you could make good profit if you kind of figure out how many can congregation. You'd have to ask them how many people in your congregation, um, what's maybe the percentage of, of people that have smartphones or whatever. Because when this link is, is sent back, obviously they're going to have to have internet access. They're not going to have to, and they're going to have to have a phone that can get on the internet. So, okay, if you have any questions, let me know. But that's a good way to get in the door with a church, and I plan on showing um, my uh, pastor this as well.